Early astronomers studied the stars and marveled at the night sky. They were able to figure out which days of the year were the longest, which days of the year were the shortest, and which days had equal sunlight. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and what happens on the equinox and solstice. Because the Earth is tilted at 23 and a half degrees and also rotates and revolves around the sun, the length of the day varies throughout the year. During each equinox, both hemispheres receive almost equal amounts of sunlight, 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of nighttime. The actual day in which both hemispheres receive exactly 12 hours sunlight and darkness is called the equilux and usually occurs a couple of days before the March equinox and a few days after the September equinox in the northern hemisphere. The day of the solstice in either hemisphere has either the most sunlight of the year, which is called the summer solstice, or the least sunlight of the year, which is the winter solstice. Except at the equator, it's an exception. Does the sun always rise exactly due east and set due west? Remember, the sun appears to rise and set due to the movement of the earth. Actually, the sun rises due east and sets due west two times a year in each hemisphere. In the northern hemisphere, on March 20th or 21st, depending on the year, you have the first day of spring, and the sun is directly above the equator. This is called the vernal equinox. Vernal means fresh, like spring. The sun will rise due east. Moving forward, the sun then starts rising a little more northeast each day until June 20th or 21st, again depending on the year. This is called the summer solstice, and it is the longest day of the year. After the summer solstice, the sun starts rising less to the north until September 22nd or 23rd, and this is the autumn equinox. The sun now again will be directly above the equator. After this, the sun starts rising a little more southeast until December 21st or 22nd. And now you have the shortest day of the year called the winter solstice. After this day, the sun begins to rise a little more to the north until March the 20th or 21st, and you're back at the vernal equinox. It takes a year to complete this cycle. Now in the southern hemisphere, Again, this is for the Southern Hemisphere. The vernal equinox is September 22nd or 23rd. The summer solstice is December 21st or 22nd. The autumn equinox is March 20th or 21st. And the winter solstice is June 20th or 21st. Again, those dates were for the Southern Hemisphere. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.